All right, and welcome back, citizens one and all, to another Fallout 76 camp build. Uh, we did a COVID-19 medical facility, uh, field hospital, whatever you want to call it. Um, this build was pretty unique because I did get to use a lot of the medical stuff that is items, uh, the medical posters, all of them are pretty cool and actually really, really relate to, to Corona going on, goings on today. So you have the check-in terminals. You have all the different med gear here, just a showcase of what's like how you're gonna get taken care of inside. Leave all your personal belongings. Enter into the quarantine right here. It's a little intimidation above the door. We're gonna enter. It is secure. Once you're in, you're in until you're guaranteed tested and clean. So we have a lot of medical equipment, sinks to to wash hands, hand sanitize everything you'll need and it was neat to find a lot of the medical items out in the world or just add things like the disease cures looked really cool in the display case so each one is the medical bed the medical gurney a chair lamp and i've seen a few pictures on the news that look about like this i had thought about putting the posters all the way around but decided against it so down the line on down the line it's all pretty much the same each cubicle is the same I haven't counted. We'll count at the end how many how many uh, patients we can hold here. Uh, I went a bit tighter. I even do have a little more build space left over than I thought. I thought I would go over, so I cut a row off the back where we were. I forget what we were, but we're now one row shorter than originally intended. And then there's some more medical equipment back here, so all medical personnel have what they need, and even more over here, and then more beds, more bunks. There were a few further details I probably could have added, but as far as just uh, COVID-19 goes, I think this is pretty good. But let's count the bays. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so see on the other side, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can hold 16 COVID-19 patients. Uh, I wish there had been a few more items to build to do more like an ICU type of setup. So this is purely patients that are sick enough to be in the hospital, but not necessarily sick enough to be in the ICU. Cause it's, it's a little difficult to build like an ICU setup. So we just did a field hospital taking care of COVID-19 patients with uh, above average symptoms. And while we're here, let's chat a little bit about COVID-19. Um, definitely when you're out and about, wear gloves and a mask. I personally advise it. I spent enough time in the medical field to tell you that it will help. Um, washing hands helps. Keeping your eyes covered with goggles or something similar helps. Um, now, the going claim is that wearing the face mask will prevent you from spreading. But it will also help some with particulate, especially if you do have the higher end respirators to wear. They absolutely help. Um, and don't feel bad that you own those. You're allowed to own those. You're allowed to keep yourself safe. You're allowed to keep your family safe. So absolutely use it if you got it. I do have that stuff. I do use all of it because my wife is due at the end of the month. And we need to be safe. I can't wind up in the hospital. She can't wind up in the hospital. So, But the biggest thing you want to realize is, you know, the hospitals are busy. I wouldn't say overburdened. But everybody's stressed. Everybody's strained. Healthcare workers are very strained right now, you know. I, I did about 10 years in the medical field, and I can tell you that the strain is there. I've, I had strain on and off throughout the medical field, especially working in some of the remote locations I did work in, like Alaska. It, it, the strain is, is there always. It's even more so now. So you don't want to be in a system that's strained. You don't want to become a statistic. You don't want to get sick. Uh, if you look state to state, a lot of the math, you know, you're showing a 10 to 15% admittance rate into the hospital for Corona. So we're, we're not even talking about that 1.8 to 2.5% death rate in the States. We're talking about the fact that you don't want to be part of that 10 to 15%. And of that 10 to 15%, you know, you're going to have a percentage of that where they do wind up in the ICU and or otherwise. And most like first and foremost, and, and final thought is you don't want to be on a ventilator. Average ventilator time is seven to 10 days. So this is not about dying. This is about you not going to the hospital. This is about you staying safe, healthy, clean, not infecting anybody if you're asymptomatic. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about what asymptomatic is, look up the case of Typhoid Mary, 
who's a lady that spread typhus all throughout the states back in the 1800s, I believe it was. She was, an asy- she was asymptomatic carrier of typhoid fever or typhus, one of the two, combination of both. Um, and she infected everybody. People died when, they, when she touched them. And back then, it was, of course, even harder to prove that that was a thing. So you have asymptomatic carriers now that either stay asymptomatic the whole time or potentially, you know, they're asymptomatic initially and eventually do exhibit symptoms of COVID-19. So wear your gloves, wear your face mask, do your part to stop the spread. Absolutely. Um, Again, I did enjoy this build. I think it was a, a, a more unique one. I was happy to use the the gurneys that just released from the atomic shop recently and the sinks also fit in quite nicely if i were to redo this i would probably add a bathroom corner and an entertainment corner like maybe scrap this and put some porta potties and then over here scrap this and put like a tv or something unique to try and spruce it up in here a bit but overall very fun build guys again when you go out Protect yourself, wash your hands when you get home, soap and water. I would even advise showering and washing and soaping your whole body as soon as you get home, especially if you have somebody at home that's immunocompromised or pregnant wife or younger children. This is not something you want to give to anyone, and that is the most intense part of this is that it is it spreads so very, very fast. So, And the scarier part is you don't know for days and days and days if you have it or not. So again... Thanks for checking this out, guys. This is, again, the COVID-19 field hospital within Fallout 76. So make sure to like, subscribe, share with your buddies. Look forward to seeing everybody in Wastelanders, which will be hopefully April 14th. But until then, y'all take care and be safe. Good night.